Hey everybody, welcome back to Xanima. We're back in the arena. Now for those of you waiting for story mode, I promise we'll, we'll be back in story mode in the next episode. But right now I'm still pissed off at, <laughs> at the arena, so I just want to keep playing for now. We're going to start with a master level pugilism match, see if we can win this real quick. Because that would be some good money right there. Nice. Ah, oh, damn. I thought I was doing pretty well there at the beginning, too. And you'll notice I'm not doing the just hold down the left mouse button thing. I'm actually trying to stick and move. No, I can't lose. I'm doing too well. Oh, how is he not knocked out yet? There it is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was a total victory brought to you by the Oven Mitts of Destruction. All right, so sticking and moving worked there really well. Uh, let me take a look at the shop real quick. Aspirant. And we can afford the machete. Yeah, we're going to get a machete. That's definitely something we're going to buy. Let's, um, hmm. <clears throat> and if they have to be aspirant at the very least to use it, let's give it to Korgoth, maybe? I think Alluring Skull's already using a handsaw. Federico has the metal bar. Yeah, let's give it to Korgoth. Alright. So, and it's aspirant, so we have to go here. Very nice. And we could give the hook or the hammer to hmm, to Federico, but nah, I kind of don't want to. This is too slow, and I just really haven't used the hook. All right. So what do we have? We can do a, an aspirant duel is basically what this is. Let's uh, So let's put Korgoth in there, and let's try out that machete. Oh hell, I did not ex I, th I thought I was going to be clear of that cleaver. Damn it, I keep stepping in too close. So one of the things I've learned in my several, several, several awful, horrible fights in the arena, one thing of value that I've learned is that it really is all about footwork. It really is. And, you know, in fights I'm using WASD and then the mouse, whereas normally, like in story mode, unless I'm fighting, I'm just using the mouse to move around. Uh, but the footwork, you know, here with the WASD is very important. Yeah, so I'm obviously trying to really work on the f on that footwork there. Uh, here's another aspirant duel. Hmm. I kind of want to. Now, so the question is, are we willing to put someone to the test in the elimination match, even if it's the inept rank? And I think we are. So this may very well be the death of alluring skull. I hate elimination matches. I never do them. But people have been saying, come on, do it, do it, do it, so... Ah, I'm kind of sad right now. Alluring Skull, I don't want to see you go, but... Probably end up killed. Alright. I will probably weep openly, by the way, when that happens. So just be prepared. Ah, oh, shit. If you're not a fan of grown men weeping, <laughs> you might want to change the channel here around the time that I die. Took some red damage there. It's not good. Because we have basically elimination is... Why am I doing so fucking poorly? This is fucking stupid. Um, in elimination, you have to fight like four or five, if not six matches. I don't even know how many it is. 
and you don't get to heal at all or anything in between them. Of course, your opponents all have fresh health, but you don't. And this lady is apparently fucking immortal, and she has skin made of fucking stone. Okay, so she's finally dead. So we'll get our health back up to the red point. Shit, I don't know why I couldn't move there. I tried stepping back and nothing happened. This is... this is bad. I thought I had that thing on where my attacks wouldn't be stopped if I got hit, but it just stopped an attack right there where I got hit. And I'm gonna tell you something else, these do not feel like inept rank motherfuckers, okay? I know that's what they are, but this, they're not fighting like inept rank pieces of shit. So one of the footwork things that I really need to work on is sidestepping gotten pretty good at, you know, going backwards and forwards, you know, but when it comes to sidestepping, I really suck. Now here's something I didn't think about. In the elimination matches, I'm pretty sure you can loot and keep the stuff throughout the duration of the elimination. So if that's true, we're going to want to put on probably, well, I already have a tunic on, don't I? Or I have a cloth shirt and a leather tunic, yeah, but I don't, and I have a belt too. Okay, so we actually can't use any of that. Um, as for the weapon... What weapon was he using? I can't even recall, and I don't see it anywhere. Who the hell is it? Well, who the hell knows? Okay, so it's handsaw once again. Love seeing the cleaver in my opponent's hands. I absolutely love that. Damn it, the distance is so hard for me to get right on the handsaw. So used to the metal bar now that this is taking... Oh, come on, she's still not dead? There we go. And hell no, I do not want the damn cleaver. But we will take that waistcoat. Um, let's take a look at that. Can I even get to my belt now? No, of course not. Uh, blah, 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 none of that matters. Okay. Here we go. So that what was that? The third fight, I think. So we're on to the fourth. I don't even know. Oh shit! The hook. I hate the hook. Just trying to center the camera as best I can. Step forward to make her attack and then jump right in. It's kind of what I have to do because of the range difference here. There we go. Oh, that wasn't it? That ought to do it. Okay. Uh, nothing interesting here. I might... I wouldn't have time to switch to it. Well, oh, and that's not true. Let's put the hook as our secondary. You can actually, actually, sorry, switch between these with R. As you can see, I'm doing right here. So that could come in handy. So I think this is our fifth opponent, but again, I don't remember. Damn it. There we go, that was good. Oh, I know that was beautiful. Come on, go ahead and swing. There you are. Damn it. Now, if I were to use space bar, like people are often saying, you know, you should use space more. Every time I use it, as soon as they kind of rotate the enemy, the, the angle changes and I have to keep hitting it, so that's a pain in the ass. So if someone suggested just hold it down the whole time, and I tried that a little bit off camera, that does not work well for me. It's kind of wonky. It's just not my thing.
not saying that it's necessarily, you know, like a bad idea or something. I'm just, for me, no, it doesn't work. Ooh, there we go. All right. Are we done, or did it always say exit? I think it always said exit, or did it say next fight? I'm so... I have such tunnel vision. I'm so freaked out when I'm fighting. I'm so nervous and so amped up. I, I can't pay attention to uh, anything else. Uh, I sure as hell don't want no pink pants. Oh my god, that was it. All right, we won an elimination match. I cannot believe it. We got like two silver for that. All right, what else do we have here? Adept, no chance. I could get another... Yeah, let's get some more uh, novice level gloves because I think only Alluring Sculpt, but Federico... Well, if Federico has the oven mitts, I don't know if I even want to give him these. Let me put those back. And Korgoth is only Aspirant rank. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, shit, that's expensive. Come on, man. The prices are so fucking outrageous. Uh, I don't think we need any leather. This is Odin, by the way. We don't use Odin to fight. Because if he died, our whole game would end. Uh, la, la, la. I don't need that either. Okay, so there's nothing to work with here. Not a surprise. No skill rank ups. Let's go here. Uh, now, nah, let's do an aspirant level. Or hell. Now, here's a duel where we can put an aspirant against a novice. So we could really put Korgoth to the test here, couldn't we? This is dangerous. Let's try it. There's no reason to play it safe anymore. That's my point. We've played it safe thus far, you know, and it just... Blah, blah, blah. It's time to take risks. Oh, my hell. So, as you can see, it's a, it's a battle of footwork here. All about maintaining the proper range at different times, whether it be for defensive or offensive purposes, and I'm going to get my ass kicked eventually with that. That thing is incredibly fast, that Bilbo. Even his Remise strike is faster than my initial strike somehow, because he's fucking magical. Jesus fucking Christ, I thought I was out of the range of that shit! My God! Oh, fuck you. Alright, well, naturally, after we had such a good episode, we had to end on a bad fucking note. Um, here's the good news, he's not dead. Not dead, he's very wounded, so we won't be able to use him forever. But, he's not dead, so look on the bright side. So, the last thing I'd like to say is to this green dude right here, fuck you. <laughs> like I said, folks, this, the arena is really starting to get under my skin, and I'm, but it's not a bad thing, I'm starting to play with more passion, because I'm so pissed. Um, but we will probably just go back to story mode for the next one, but we will be back to the arena, just stick with me. So thank you as always for watching, please hit the like button if you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time for some more Xanima.